What's up guys, Matt from Silencing a Dream here. I really like that chord progression. It's actually a song that the old band I was in wrote, but I still like that progression a lot. It's pretty cool. And then my little... That little pre-chorus into the... I'm always proud of that, that kind of little voice leading thing that... Anyway, totally besides the point. Uh, busy night at work. Real busy night at work. I'm cutting my head off again. Sorry about cutting my head off yesterday. I watched that back and I kept kind of leaning forward trying to see if I could somehow digitally maneuver and see the top of my head, but it wasn't going to happen. And I wasn't going to reshoot it, so whatever. At least this time it's just the very top that's cut off. I'm okay with that. It's not that the eyebrows doing the... That was a little annoying. I apologize. Um, busy night at work. Kind of tired. Didn't, uh, didn't have a whole lot of time to ruminate or... put a whole lot of extra thought into stuff, so. Um, hopefully today, since I'm gonna go to bed at a decent hour, I'll, I'll finish getting this last computer that's right behind this guy here. Um, just, all I gotta do is wipe it now, you know, just do a system recovery, or whatever the heck it's called on a PC. I haven't done that in a long time. Um, and then those guys would be good to donate, and then I could start taking apart the shelving unit. So, slowly but surely, we shall overcome. Other than that, I don't know. I just. Actually, the reason I was playing that song or even thinking about it was because of what that song means to me. Uh. I fought real hard for that song. It's probably the most, I don't, some would say cheesy, but um, the most traditional kind of pop ballad, ballad-like sort of thing on that album. Because some of the stuff was, was cool and like different and Definitely not that vibe, but um, that song in particular does mean a lot to me. I'll, I'll put a link to it down below. But uh, it's also one of those songs that I, I, the lyrics were mostly due to me. I won't say entirely because I think we did change some few things here and there later while we were recording because I didn't sing it. My buddy David did. Um, It's also one of those songs I've had a few people like, so what is that about? And I've never told anybody what the song's about. And I'm not going to right now either, so don't get your hopes up. But um, I guess to a certain degree, the, the, the subject that was my focus while writing that song, you know, It's one of those things that I feel nostalgic about. The most I've ever told anybody is like, well, it's about a person, obviously. If you listen to the lyrics, uh, it's about a person. But um, I kind of say that if anybody does really press me for it, like, well, it doesn't matter much, you know. I, I, don't, I don't know that person anymore. So, and I mean that in a very metaphorical sense, you know, I might still know that person. I might still talk to that person, but I don't, I don't know them like I used to. So I guess that's kind of where I'm coming from, like a little bit of nostalgia. And I think that has played a big part in my kind of like, you know, I just feel kind of 
bummed out this last, my weekend, my Sunday, Monday off. Why I didn't get a whole lot done in terms of this and uh, a lot of other stuff, like getting stuff cleaned out of here so we can set up our equipment. Um, it's not that I'm losing steam, I, I feel. It's just that, you know, such is the life of a creative person, someone that has very direct and in constant contact with their their feelings, their their inner state, you know, their muse. You know, it just stuff gets to you, it affects this. You know, I think most most creative people I can think of are like that. That I even that I know personally and that I, you know, have come in, kind of admired from afar. Like we're really affected by our art and our, our state of mind and our feelings and stuff, so doesn't mean we can't change it. Like I said, I've been making a, a valiant effort towards beating my, uh, I don't want to say blues, because then you'll think of like blues guitar. And I'm not the biggest fan of the blues guitar myself, even in school. Like, I kind of sucked. You go to music school and they're like, so much of this is based on the blues. And I'm like, God damn it. It's so not my thing, especially the electric blues. I don't remember that thing. All right, I'm back. Sorry, thought someone needed me for something. Um, yeah, I don't know. I had a lot going on in the brain. Not a whole lot happening in the life. So I think I need to flip that around. Need more happening in the life, and. Uh, a little more focus up here. So, you know, it's a Friday for most of you. It's a Thursday for me because I work Saturdays. So, almost there. Looking forward to having a chance to get more accomplished with my days off. And, um, God, I really, yeah, I just want to, I want to start working on tunes. You know, besides, uh, take the tempo off there, you know, I have been thinking a lot about that Death Leopard song. So much beautiful guitar work in that song, Hysteria. Um... Yeah, I've, I've been compiling like a giant list of songs I would like to do. I don't want to do uh, cover versions per se, but like renditions of or like tributes to or whatever, you know. I kind of like the idea of taking slow songs, mellow songs, making them fast, or taking fast songs and making them slow, or, you know, aggressive songs and making them mellow, mellow, aggressive, you know, just kind of switching stuff up and... uh because I think it'd be interesting, you know, there's plenty of people out there that do parody songs, and, although Weird Al's still the best. Sorry. Can't top the Weird Al. White and nerdy? Come on. Genius. But, um, yeah, just looking forward to actually sitting down and getting to focus more on music than the other stuff that I've been focusing on, you know, personal stuff, so. But, you know, like, like I keep saying, it's all right, you know, we keep chugging. For better or worse, that really seems to come up a lot when I'm filming these. For better or worse, you know, we're going to do it. We're going to do it constantly, and, you know, I will admit, you know, some days not a whole lot happens, so do what you can, don't worry about the rest. It's not worth the time or the energy, so that's about it. Don't have a whole lot to say today, no more uh, epic 15 plus minute vlogs for the time being, but, and maybe today if I get up, 
I went to bed kind of late yesterday, so I woke up late and didn't have time to film anything before I went to work. But um, hopefully I'll get to go to bed here in a little bit and get up and give you some more. You know, I know I'm still like two days behind my one-a-day vlog. So I intend on at least catching up numerically. You know, day 21 will be long 21 so all right guys i'm gonna catch some z's i'll see you later